Good morning, how are you? It is about six o'clock. I've got an empty rubbish bag to put out and we're gonna go and get Mopsy. She's out there at the moment. Let's go get her. Hello baby, in that little waggy tail. She really is the sweetest little dog, aren't you? Hello sweet girl. Come on. Go for your wee wee's Mopsy, good girl. Good girl. So I've decided this morning because I forgot to make bread and I forgot to buy bread. I'm making pancakes. <laughs> Always makes me think of Donkey from Shrek and he's like, in the morning I'm making waffles. <laughs> um, what was I going to show you though before I start that? Oh, I've got an advent calendar, the first part of it from my mum. Do you want to see? Here it is. It's got candles in it. So every day I open a candle. We got this in B and M's. There's apple cinnamon, mulled wine, festive vanilla, Christmas greetings, and Silent Night. So that is very exciting, and it's shiny. Hmm. Shall I show you the one I got for Chris? So normally I make everybody's advent calendars, don't I? Oh, there it is. But I saw this one advertised. And I just knew that would be perfect for Chris. Right. It's a dinosaur one. So normally I get him coffee advent calendars and things like that. But we're trying to save a lot of money this year, aren't we? And so this is his advent calendar instead. And he's very excited about that. And apparently you get a fact on the door every single day. And Chris knows everything there is to know about dinosaurs. So... He will be telling me if it's right or not. <laughs> I love it when we watch TV shows and he's like, that is not accurate at all. <laughs> so, yeah, this is his little advent calendar. That was from m &S. So that's his one sorted. But it's obviously his birthday first. If you don't know, if you haven't been here before. Hello, if you've not been here before. It was like, last night was just crazy for reading things about this area i've never ever had flood warnings in my life and last night there was flood warnings not far from us which is so weird that's never ever happened it's not a thing that happens here and um since they've been building hundreds and hundreds of houses our little part of the world has turned from a very sleepy place to just where loads of crimes happening I told you before didn't I about someone nicked the gate <laughs> a massive gate well a little while after that someone or a group of people I assume went around stealing cars and they actually stole in a place near us they stole two of the same car so it was obviously like properly organized but they stole two of the same car and then a little bit further along, they stole three. So they stole five of the same cars on the same night. <sighs> oh, someone's toys coming down the stairs. You throw their toy down and then they walk down. Well, last night in that area, um, yeah, in the same area as where the three cars were stolen, there was a van going around trying to steal children. Two children were nearly like, kidnapped and the police had to do a disperse order the other day because there were so many fights and our little corner of the world is not sleepy anymore. No wonder I've got so much anxiety about going out and honestly every time you go out you really have to look hard for the kind people because there are so many meanies out there at the moment. <laughs> anyway, pancakes.
Yeah, yeah. It's what we record it.
We're going to have to have naughty pancakes with syrup. <laughs> I love mine with lemon juice. What do you like on your pancakes? Lemon juice is definitely mine. Lemon juice and some sugar. But yeah, we haven't got anything in. I need to go and stock up on those types of things. We do like dinner food, but that we've just come to the end of all them types of things, you know? And I haven't even bought a jar of mince meat yet. From mince pies, not like beef, but yeah, mince meat. Did you know that they used to actually be quite gamey pies? And then it just slowly evolved into a sweet treat. But it originally was like a gamey type pie. <sighs> yeah, but I need to make some mince pies, don't I? We make the ugliest mince pies, but they taste so good. I, mean, I make normal ones, but my favourite ones are puff pastry mince pies. And puff pastry jam tarts are amazing as well. And they look terrible. You don't want to take pictures of them and things like that, but... Definitely try puff pastry mince pies and puff pastry jam tarts because they taste better than all the others. <laughs> this is just my favourite cookery book. The important ones are tagged Toad in the Hole and Fairy Cakes. <laughs> the fairy cakes. Oh, it's flipped. But yeah, I love this book. It shows you how to make all types of things. I've got a video saying these books made me a better homemaker and I probably should redo that video because I don't know whether I did a good job with it. But I love this. It shows you lots of weird recipes and I think this is what got me into eating weird things. Um, and also at the beginning it teaches you about the cuts of meat and stuff like that. I, I learned so much from this book. I mean I went to school and I was, I was never taught anything about food. And I even took food tech for a part of it and they just told us how to make like um oh what do they call it fruit salad yeah and pizza swirls and oh cheese scones all the things that we already know how to make but they didn't see any value in teaching normal people to cook unless they wanted to earn money in the sector apparently oh don't get me started you can tell I'm I'm gonna rant about that <laughs> Oh yeah, I was just annoyed that I never learnt. And then I came across this book and I just learnt everything from this book. And I, I think it's I just love it so much. I've made bread and butter pudding from here as well. I've got some bread over there, I could make another one. But yeah, I just love this book. It's very nostalgic to me and whenever I pick it up it feels like home, you know. Oh, I love this book. Yeah, that's my I've got other cookery books, but I don't know why, because I just like working from this one. You didn't think I was brave enough to flip that properly, did you? <laughs> Good morning, Miss Mopsy. Hello, sweet girl. How are you this morning? No bird song again. Don't know why, but it's been hard to hear the birds lately. You know how loud they normally are. You can hear them slightly. Maybe they're just sleeping in. I just feel like all the building that's been going on has really affected all the wildlife and stuff. And I've definitely noticed that our birds are not that crazy loud that they normally are. I have to not think about it. Because nothing can do. They're going to build houses, they're going to build houses. But it's turned this quiet little area. And I think because we're so close to London, it's like quite easy to come out this way. We've had horrible things happen in the past, don't get me wrong. Now we have quite a lot happening. Now 
Now, I told you, didn't I, that I can't film in the morning because of how loud it is. Can you hear? <laughs> He's blowing it so it pings out of his mouth, luckily, at the moment. We've had ding a ling in on the gate and now we've got trumpety things going on. Honestly, they're the noisiest children I've ever met now. And I'm, a, I need peace and quiet in the morning to wake up. I need slow and quiet. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> That's the only thing with pancakes, isn't it? it? Takes ages. So, yeah, they're going crazy. The other thing that's been hard lately is doctors. I know everyone struggles to get a doctor's appointment at the moment, don't they? But I would have thought that getting your child's immunizations, and I know everybody's different about immunizations, but I like them immunized. And the, the ones where it's like the preschool ones, I've never had a problem booking them. I've always rung up and said, can I book them? And they've gone, yep, and normally within a week or so they're booked. I rang for an entire, like over a month. I had to keep ringing. They kept saying, no, there's no space. Ring back in a week. Okay. Ring back in a week. Ring back in a week. And then after about four weeks of that happening, I said, why is there no appointment? I said, like, what do I do? Because like, he needs to get immunised. And they said, um, oh, we'll, we'll write a, a letter to the management and, like, we'll put it to the management that you're not happy about the service. Blah, 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 blah. Um, and she said, oh, the, the management team will contact you. Like, they'll contact you and they'll sort it out seeing as you've had problems booking. And I was like, oh, okay. That'll be sorted, she said. They'll contact you within the week. No. No, no, no. They led me astray there. So I waited, and then I waited another week because they were getting really shirty with me. Every time I called to try and book some jabs, it was like I was saying, excuse me, can I have one of your arms? <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I, I, how can you, as like a doctor's receptionist, be cross that I want to book my child's vaccinations in like it's just crazy anyway didn't hear anything back um chris had called as well still not hearing anything back and so this this was now they're the point when they said to chris like we'll let you know when there's space we'll let you know who says that because they don't if, if the management are not going to call me back no one's going to call me back so then I thought, do you know what? I'm going to see if I can catch someone on a different shift. And so I rang late in the evening and I said, I really have been trying to book his immunizations up. I said, it's it's coming up to like two and a half months past when I got the letter. I want to book his vaccinations in, his three year ones. And the lady said, no, there's no space. I said, why is there no space to book these in? And she said, oh, we've got a shortage of nurses. I said, okay, so where can I go to get his vaccinations done? Like, tell me. She went, what do you mean? I said, well, where do I take him? Tell me somewhere else that I can go to get him vaccinated. I said, because I don't want him to go through the winter unwell. I said, um, he, like, he gets really ill. I don't want him to go through the whole of the winter unwell. And she was like, oh, um, um. I said, just tell me somewhere else. Do I take him to a hospital? Like, what do I do? Where, where can do the jab? Where are there nurses that can do the jab? Oh, one second, she said. And I'd said to her as well, like, we've, we've rung before. And they said that they'd tell management. And management would call me back. I said, no one called me back. I said, I just want to get the jab plugged in. So, anyway, she went, she said, oh, can you just hold? And she went off. And she was gone for a bit. I think, like, five or six minutes she was gone. And when she came back, she said, oh, he's all booked in. Like, oh okay. Oh yeah, he's all booked in. Five o'clock on this day. It's like, thank you, thank you very much. So, like, is there anything else we can help with? It's like, no. As if I was like being, I don't know. Like they were acting like I was being out of order for wanting these, and they, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. And then suddenly they could. <sighs> when Winry had her vaccination. And it was the second one. She was a really, she was only one. And so it was a one year vaccination. Lockdown had just hit. And so 
the doctor's surgeries were still open and that and it wasn't like a full lockdown back then it was just like starting off you know um it was all the talk about it and i rang up and i said i need to get my daughter's vaccinations in now she's due i said i want to get them in and the lady said to me the receptionist said to me don't you know there's a lockdown i said yep i said that's why it's even more important that she's fully vaccinated and she said i think there's more important things to worry about right now oh on the government website it said it's more important than any time to keep them up with their vaccinations and i like them vaccinated anyway but yep yeah, she was rude it absolutely hurts my heart though like the rudeness is so unnecessary why are you rude I just oh, i have to try and not think about it. that's why i love talking to you though because you are all lovely and you I know, I'm talking to the people I talk to, you have the same experience of the world. Like, there's just so many miserable people and we're all out there trying to not have that, aren't we? And we're, we're trying to make more happy moments. Honestly, I hate, I hate anything to do with the, the doctors right now. I'm just so down. I'll be glad when these immunisations are done. Oh, and that was the other thing. The lady said, oh, well, he can have it any time until he's 10. I was like, oh, you could just have it now. Why can't you book him in? <laughs> Good morning, Christopher. Yeah. You just got up, haven't you? You've got one day off and I'm making you go out and sort out the front garden, aren't I? I feel terrible about Mama. it. But I've made your pancakes. Mama, and it don't take you five seconds, does it, to do front garden? It's a job it's a job that would take me all day. And you go out there and blitz it within fifteen minutes. <laughs> and as much as I love you, I do resent the fact that you can do that. <laughs> love you. Love you. Uh, what's going on over here? Oh, it's not that day. It's the Lord's Day. I don't like the Lord's Day. I want it on Nana Day. That's not a Nana Day. That's a story day. The Nana one's gone. We need to put it back on. Because we had not seen it for a while. Can you put it on the Lord's Day? Because that's today. I don't want to. Could anyone explain to me why my dog's broke? Because this is what she does. All my other dogs have just eaten the food from their bowl. But Mopsy, it doesn't matter what kind of food it is. You want to eat it. She goes in and... No, here we go. Oh no, she's going to talk to me. No, she's going to do it. She gets one biscuit. She carries it to her bed. <coughs> and then crunches it. And then goes back and gets one more. I feel like this is... <laughs> it is an income food thing. And Mopsy, I just feel like you're wasting the energy that you don't need to waste. This doesn't seem like the most practical way to do it. I put a dentist in the bowl and she just brings it to a bed and jumps it. I, well, I understand where the so dentist is, but... And the other day, we put some wet food in her bowl and she didn't want to eat the biscuits. Maybe this is what it is, it's protest about the biscuits. But yeah, she spat biscuits over the entire floor. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You spat biscuits over the entire floor. Yeah, it was terrible, wasn't it? Yeah, because he was here and he's the one who saw it. All over the floor. And what did he do, Mops? He put them back in your bowl and said, you're not getting nothing until they're gone. <laughs> she did eat them though, didn't she, in the end? Bless her. What a silly doggy. Everybody's cleared their plates, so apparently the pancakes were good. We've got, I'll show you. Do you recognise that? 
Muppets Family Christmas. <laughs> I'll finish this square. I'm going to turn it into a pillow. Because it's annoying that it, it kind of bolshes out like that. I think if I was to do the Willow one again, I would do this in... Because it's kind of like... Where is it bulking out? Yeah, there. I think I would do up to this line. Uh, this line, sorry, in one hook. And then up size my hook. There you go, up a hook size. Um, for this next round here. Just so it maybe sits better. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some fabric to the back of it. And then I'm just going to sew with some thread and sew this down onto the front piece and so it will be nice and flat then keep it in place I'm in the process of making another owl at the moment I found a load of owl bodies that I hadn't done wings for as well so that's something to do but I my little pot I keep up on the side that one it was very 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 high and overflowing so I had to stop and make an owl and it's the next one I'm doing what I have been making though is gifts for advent and this is mine so it's hand sanitizer in a bottle because oh the arden just touches everything when we're out like when you're in the toilets he's wiping his hands up and down the walls and oh i don't like this stage <laughs> so i want some hand sanitizer and i have it in my bags but then you have to go through your bag to find it and so I thought I'm going to make a pouch and I had a look on Pinterest and there was some really cute like animal ones and all sorts but I just thought oh, I'm going to have a plain one. I'm actually writing the pattern up for this. I'm going to have it as a free pattern. Thanks Arden. Oh thanks Arden. <laughs> You're coming to sit down aren't you? You like sitting next to mummy don't you sweetheart? Good right, boy. I'm going to draw a picture of what's happening. There's another one. Another one. So once I've written the pattern up, I'll, um, it's all written. I just need to type it up onto the, the piece of paper thing on that I've got. I'm ready for it. The template. There you go. And then I'll have a free pattern for this, which is just fun, isn't it? I just thought that's a little fun gift, and they're good stocking stuffers. I bought these anti backs off of Amazon. I used to do Amazon affiliate links, but there's so much faff to add. And because I didn't do well on them, Amazon took me off their affiliates. <laughs> so I don't know. So I'll just show you and then you can go find some. But yeah, just 60 ml bottles of hand sanitizer. And like, you know what? The toys that the children can ride on, the little merry-go-rounds and things. They played in one when they got really ill at the beginning of October. They'd been on one about two or three days before and that's when they got really sick so um yeah i want to make sure i've definitely got anti -back. oh you lovely boy right, what else have i been doing oh the cardi so you saw me steak the cardi didn't you right, all the pieces are joined now front and back fronts and back and i've done a mock rib or fisherman rib or whatever you want to call it where you knit two, pull two on one side and just pull across on the the other side or if you're knitting across you can knit across on the front depends how you do it <laughs> these are the buttonholes here you can see them so that's the front done so I run out of this yellow as well <laughs> And the only other yellow I've got is a completely different kind of hue of yellow. But we're we're rolling with it. So I've done the cuffs pink. And then I've got this yellow which does not match. In the... Yeah, there you go. It doesn't match, but it's fine. It's going to be the sleeves. It's different. It'd be worse, wouldn't it, if it was halfway down the front or something. But I think it's fine for sleeves. So that's as far as I've got with that one. And then I'll just show you. These are the buttons. <laughs> it's a really good drawing. Um, yeah, these are the buttons I got for Mama. her. She likes mermaids and things, so I got her some shell buttons to go on it. Mama, and they're going to look like really pretty. The screw one. You wish it was the Scrooge one? 
thought I was going to put a Scrooge one on. Oh, don't be sad. You can watch the Scrooge one after, darling. I want to watch it now. Oh, baby. This is how he sits, bless him. He wraps his arm around mine. And then whilst I'm knitting, he's cuddling me. Oh, he's a lovely little boy. Um, I also, I can't move now because my arm's been taken, but I've got them bags from the pound shop. You know, little canvas bags. I need to turn them into a bag for my mum. I want to do that today. This advent is approaching and that needs to get done. If I do manage to do it, I'll try and film a bit of it, but I don't know. If there's no video about it, then I gave up. <laughs> I just tried to get it done fast. Um, but yeah, that's over there. That needs doing. Um, yesterday I got one of the old curtains that I'd saved and I've made a smaller curtain to go on the cabinet in the hall. So I'll try and show you that in a sec. But that's, I've been, it's been nice to try and get some sewing done. That's been good, finally getting some sewing done again. My skirt, I've done the first tier. I've decided I'm going to get like three tiers. And I've done the first tier. But I never get round to show you, do I? I always forget to show you. But the skirt's coming along. I should have, I think if I'd have done it on the machine, I would have finished it by now. But my weight was fluctuating. I think that put me off as well. I'm my cow. Yeah. Uh. I finished the little owl. I'm going to take you out and show you that unit now. This is like my storage cupboard out here in the hall. <laughs> and, um... It used to be a shoe cabinet, so it used to be one of them Ikea shoe cabinets, you know, you pull forward and the shoes come forward, and then you push it back up. But we took all the doors off and made shelves for it instead, so I've got my milk and juice bottles at the bottom, and then like toiletry stuff here, and then some noodles here, and then the wipes at the top. But it's a bit, I don't know, when people, I don't care. Yeah too much but when people come in I don't like it all on show because people think I'm like I don't know what they think they think I'm stockpiling or something but it's not it's just easier to do it once get the shopping delivered once because it's cheaper the delivery is cheaper I can get all the big items I want and then I don't have to worry and like these nappies I buy well, I've got four packs here but that's because you can't get hold of them <laughs> and then it gets really hard to get hold of them, he has to wear like ones that are too big for him because you just you can't get hold of them. So when I can, I buy extras. So anyway, this is an old curtain of my nanny's, and I cut it down to size. If I hold it there, can you see? So it's going to be the right size now. Oh, let's hold it so you can see it hanging. No, <laughs> it's really hard to do everything with one hand. There we go. So, gee, just hung just, just off the floor. Um, so I need either Velcro to go here or a yeah, piece of wood or something and some hooks. Play my game. All right. He's got one of them um, 50 in one game things. They so wanted to be a bit more like big children, so they've got them. They love them. Here we go. That's what I did the other day. Finished this which I'm quite pleased about and covered up I'm trying to get like nice little home making jobs like that done you know but yeah got to go and drop some more vintage parcels off Chris can do the front garden and then it'll be dinner to make and I need to make mum's bag so I need to just crack on with things really now I've got to go off and print the labels off. Hello, I'm in the car now. I've just dropped off my three vintage parcels, so that's done. I keep taking them in my Grinchy Poos bag. <laughs> Love my Grinchy bag. So, yeah, they're all dropped off. And it's really hard for me to get a lot of chatting in because Chris is working so much. Like, there's only one day that I could, like, spare some time to get chatting. And... He's got quite a lot of things that he wants to get done in that day. So it doesn't, it, it just doesn't really work out. But I thought, well, I'll drop the parcels off and then I can have a quick chat. And the clips at the beginning were when we were at my mum's the other day. 
we went to my mum's I told you didn't I we were gonna go and mum got me glue gunning these snowmen and I think a lot of my DNA is on them snowmen now <laughs> Right, you little grub, show me your hands. Flipping heck. <laughs> You've been busy out there, haven't you? Yeah. And here's a normal house load of washing. Don't worry if it piles up. It won't die. You don't need to keep it alive. That's what I do, I keep it in the bath. When I wake up, I need to finish. Don't fret about mess, it's fine, isn't it? Dropped a load of mints on the floor. I'll get my new hoover on it. This is actually the new hoover from the one that broke. It's funny how the pegs don't work for children. They only work for grown-ups, don't they? But this is the best food hoover. Come on, Mops. Mama, we've been really busy out there. You have. You have been very busy. Mops. Come over here. Go, Mopsy, go. Good, Good little so dinner for Mopsy, isn't it? It's because Chris doesn't like things that grow. <laughs> so I have to take his mints out to finish ours off. But the dinner I'm doing is we're going to have some loaded chips. And then he's just popped to the shop to get some barbecue sauce and some cheese. So I'm going to do... I have got more chips in there. I'm going to do loaded chips. And then for afters we have got chocolate cake and milk to go on it as well. Dad has got a delicious dinner. We've all got a delicious dinner. Yours is exactly the same, just you haven't got melted cheese. And special drinks from Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. You look beautiful, Barbie. Yeah. Are you showing me your outfit, Barbie? She's your new one, isn't she? Show me her little face. We are really impressed with this dolly. Nana got her this. This was from Arden. Can you get that cat away from the candle? Um, this was a Poundland one. It's the Moya Mia or something. But she has a bra, doesn't she? So if people know. The Barbies have all their, their like, you see if I can show people. Sorry, Barbie, I'm going to show your bra. But Barbies have their knickers kind of shown, don't they? So if I show you. Yeah. You can see she's got, like, knickers. But this one, I was really impressed. she got, like, a little bra. Can you see that? I thought that was nice because there's no reason really not to have that there, is there? And she's beautiful. I thought they would, they would have hollow legs, but they don't. They have good legs. And they bend, which most Barbies these days don't have bendy legs. Yeah, she's a really nice Barbie. And she's really pretty. 
Well, she come with lots of dresses. It's very hard to move these around. It can't That's good the though. Fire. If the legs move too much, you won't be able to play with her properly. There's a lovely little cat over there. Well, everyone enjoyed dinner, didn't you? Yeah. But nobody could finish the cake. And Chris said, you gave us too much cake. Okay. But yeah. I was being cheeky because I didn't want to cook for the rest of the day. Yeah. So that's it now. Everybody's completely full up and you can just have an apple and a, like probably just an apple we'll need now later on. Yeah, and worn you right out. So yeah, too much cake. But other it than that, it's very cake. much enjoyed, wasn't it? Yep. But it was too much cake. Yeah, I didn't need to do that much. I should have should have thought about what I was doing a bit more, shouldn't I? Yep. Oh well, no for next time. You have to show some for tomorrow, don't you? Yeah, that's what I should have done. I should have done less. But usually if I do less, what do you always say, Chris? I'm hungry. Yeah, <laughs> so I wanted to yeah. fill Chris up. Later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, she well, doesn't mean you're fat. She means you've got a great big pit inside you. <laughs> yeah. You look delicious. I'll take this one. I'll take this one. I don't know. They all look scrumptious. I'll take this one. <laughs> Do you want them? Maybe this one. Yeah, this one. coloring book that I designed for advent it's really really simple <laughs> um, but I just thought if you wanted to do something different different I don't leave the chair alone Please bring the drinks back. He doesn't need any more of them. Thank you. Maybe quite possibly the stretches. I'm getting back up. I don't think they're going to stretch. I think the looser side of this side. Or oh, probably here. <laughs>
five seconds I said well I don't mind I'll get five seconds of joy out of it it's Grinch at McDonald's isn't it okay so there's the little box and this is what I got it's Max as a stocking 